Dear students, under the series of lectures on the topic sequencing problems, here we have type 4. Already we have completed type 1, 2 and 3 in our previous video lectures. Now here we have type 4 which is processing two jobs on YUM machines. This will be done through graphical method. The problem 1 we have here under this topic. Use graphical method to find the minimum total elapsed time of two jobs on five machines. So here we are given two jobs that is job 1 and job 2 and they they have given five machines through which these jobs has to be processed. And the sequence of, of the order of the machines are already given here. That is for job 1 the sequence is A, B, C, D and E. And for job 2 the sequence is D, C, A, B and E. And the corresponding processing time in hours are given here. Now we have to you know, use graphical method and we have to find the total elapsed time of the two jobs on these five machines. In order to do gra the graph, first let us write the bounds of each job in the given five machines. That is, for job A, here we have the processing time as 2. And so, since this is the first job, I mean, for machine A, job 1 under machine A, the processing time is given as 2. Now, when we process it, it will start at 0 and it will end after 2 hours. So, the bounds for job 1 in machine A is 0 to 2. And after that, this job will be processed in machine B. And after 2 hours, it will commence here. So, the lower bound for this job under machine B will be 2 and the upper bound will be add this 2 with 3. So 2 plus 3 will be 5 and then this job will be processed in machine C and it, it comes after completing in machine B and so the lower bound will be 5 that is this completed value and it will be processed for 5 hours so 5 plus 5 is 10 and then it moves to uh, machine D where the lower bound will be the completed R that is 10 and it will be processed for 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12 and finally we have in machine E from 12 to 12 plus 1 is 13. So these are the bounds and the total processing time for job 1 is 13 hours. In a similar way we have to do for job 2. So job 2 enters machine D at 0 hours and it, pro it gets processed for 6 hours and the bounds are 0 to 6. And then after completing D, it enters C. So it will enter at the 6th hour. So 6 and it will be processed for 2 hours. So 6 plus 2 is 8. And then the bound for uh, job 2 in machine C is it will start at 8. And it will be processed for 3 hours. So 8, 9, 10, 11. So it ends at 11 hours. And then it will be processed in machine B. So at 11 hours it enters. It will be processed for 1 hour. So 11 plus 1 is 12. And then it will enter machine E at 12 hours. That is the completed time here. Plus it will be processed for 3 hours. 12 plus 3 which will be 15. So the total processing time for job 2 will be 15 hours. So after finding the bounds let us draw the graph. Now the graph, in the graph, job 1 has to be taken in the x-axis and job 2 will be taken in the y-axis. So first step is we have to draw the x-axis and y-axis. So after drawing the x-axis and y-axis, we have to mention that this is job 1 and the y-axis is for job 2. So after this, we have to check the total processing time for job 1. It is 13 hours. So we have to take from 0 to 13 al uh, along the x-axis. And the units has to be mentioned here. So we are going to take this 1 unit, that is this 1 centimeter to be equal to 1 unit. So let us mention it here in the graph. So 1 centimeter is equal to one unit is what we have taken so since we have to take until 13 hours we have to 
plot like we have to take numbers from 1 2 3 4 so we have to write till 13 along the x axis and if you see for job 2 the total processing time is 15 hours so along the y axis we have to write till 15 so let us do that so along y axis we have written until 15 now after this let us represent the machines in form in the form of a block so here if you see along the x axis for machine a it is from 0 to 2 so this is the x axis so from it starts from 0 to 2 so let us just draw a vertical line along these two points already we have the axis along 0 now along 2 let us just draw a slight light vertical line so if you see along 2 I am drawing a slight vertical line and after that let us draw let us check out for job 2 that is along y axis what is the bound for a it is from 8 to 11 so the lower bound is 8 so it is here so let us draw a li line along 8 and 11 so here we have 8 and here we have 11 so if you see this is the intersecting region for machine a so let us shade this region so this is the intersecting region for machine a and it has to be shaded so machine a is finished in a similar manner we have to check out for machine b it is from 2 to 5 along the x axis so we have 2 over here so already we have a line and 2 to 5 so here we have 5 so this will be the line along 5 so now we have taken the region along x axis in the similar way for machine b along the y axis 11 to 12 it is so where do we have 11 it is here already we have a line along it and 12 is here so it, the line should be like this and therefore what will be the intersecting region so 2 to 5 so this is 2 to 5 and this is le, uh, 11 to 12 so this will be the intersecting region so we have shaded this region and this is the intersecting region for machine b in a similar way for machine c the bounds for in the along the x axis is 5 to 10 so we have 5 over here already we have a line and 10 we have to draw a line so this is 10 and then along the y axis for c it is 6 to 8 so we have 6 over here so this is 6 and this is 8 so what is the intersecting region now if you see it, it is from 5 to 10 and 6 to 8 so this will be the intersecting region so let us draw that so the intersecting region c has been shaded here for machine c next we have machine d along the x-axis 10 to 12 so already we have a line along 10 so 12 is here so we have to draw, draw, draw a vertical line so 10 to 12 and along y-axis for d it is 0 to 6 so this is y-axis so 0 starts here until 6 so till here so if you see till here we have to draw the line so what will be the intersecting region now it starts from here until 6 so this will be the intersecting region for machine d so let us shade it so the intersecting region d has been shaded next we have the final machine e and along the x-axis it is from 12 to 13 so already we have 12 here so this is the bound for along the uh, that is along x axis 12 to 13 and then along y axis for e it is 12 to 15 so we have 12 over here so this is 12 to 15 is uh, here so 12 to 15 so this region therefore what will be the intersecting region it is this region so we have shaded this region also that is the intersecting region for the machine e 
so after completing this now we have to draw the optimal path in order to find the total elapsed time so what is this optimal path the path should begin from the origin zero and it should end at the ending point that is the ending point is here because this is the 13 along x axis and 15 along y axis so that is the fine total processing time for job one and this is for job two and that should be the final point so the path has to start from zero and it has to end over here and we should and these are the bounds we should not go beyond this so uh, the that path will give us the total elapsed time and how it will be drawn the path will consi will be will, will consist of either diagonal lines or vertical lines or horizontal lines so we have to draw diagonal lines in for with a in 45 degrees or vertical lines or horizontal lines and it should be the shortest path with minimum processing time so uh, in order to draw that first we have to begin with the origin and very importantly these paths should not intersect the blocks it should not cross the blocks it can travel along the outline but it should not cross the blocks that is very important so maximum we have to draw try to draw the diagonal lines and we have to minimize the uh, horizontal and vertical lines in order because uh, when it is uh, vertical it uh, it means that job one is idle and job two is under process and when it is horizontal job one is under process and job two is idle but if we have a diagonal line then both the jobs are under process so maximum we should try to have diagonal line in order to obtain minimum total elapsed time so how to draw this diagonal line so uh, remember we are starting from here and trace the graph with all the diagonal points so if you see this is a 45 degree point and next 45 degree point will be here and then here and then here and then here and it can go here until here only but after this if we keep up uh, take diagonally it will cross the block but that we should not do so first line is a diagonal line from zero until this point so let us draw that we so we have drawn and after reaching this point we have to check uh, we can uh, we have to either we can travel horizontally or vertically so after reaching this point we cannot travel diagonally because it will cross the block and if we travel horizontally also it will cross the block then we have to tra travel only i mean uh, vertically also it will cross the block then we have to travel only horizontally we cannot travel diagonally or vertically so we have to travel horizontally so we have to travel from this point so after that if we will be reaching here again we cannot go vertical or diagonal then we will be reaching here we cannot go vertical or diagonal so if we keep on reaching here until here we have to travel only horizontally we cannot go till here we cannot go vertical or diagonal but we have reached this point and after this point we can travel vertically or diagonally but what i said diagonal is the best path so because diagonal is the best path after this we have to travel diagonally only so let us first draw this line so this line is from here until here second path so this was the first one and then from here to here and then we have to travel diagonally again so one so we can travel easily and we can reach this point but after this point we should not go out because that is the boundary so we have to draw this line so we have drawn the line this path is done now we if we if we travel diagonally we will go outside the boundary if we travel horizontally also we will go outside the boundary so we have to travel vertically only so from here like this and then like this and then like this and we have to reach this point and it can be attained only vertically so we have to draw this line so we have drawn this line therefore we have started from this point and we have reached the final point with diagonal lines horizontal lines and vertical lines now let us calculate the total elapsed time first we will do for job one the formula is the total elapsed time of job one is equal to processing time of job one plus idle time of job one. 
so that will be equal to what is the processing time of job 1 for job 1 the total final uh, processing time was like that is the total processing time, time was 13 so this is the processing time so that we have to write so processing time of job 1 is 13 plus idle time of job 1 so when does the job 1 remain idle I have shown you here job 1 remains idle whenever we have a vertical line so remember job 1 remains idle whenever we have a vertical line so in the graph let us look out for the vertical line so if you see here this is a diagonal line this is a horizontal line again diagonal line here we have the vertical line how many units do we have so this is one unit two three four five six so six units we have so therefore we have to add that six over here so 13 plus 6 and that will be equal to 19 hours because it's given in hours okay so 19 hours so this is the total elapsed time of job 1 in a similar manner let us find the total elapsed time of job 2 and the formula is total elapsed time of job 2 is equal to processing time of job 2 plus idle time of job 2 and what is the processing time for job 2 it is 15 the total processing time is 15 so that we have to substitute here so this is equal to 15 plus the idle time of job 2 so when does job 2 remains idle we already have here job 2 remains idle whenever we have the horizontal line in the graph so now let us calculate the units for the horizontal lines that we have drawn so if you see here we have the diagonal line here horizontal we have again diagonal then vertical so this is the only horizontal line we have and how many units we have from here to here one two three four so four units so four units we have horizontal line so that we have to do so 15 plus 4 which is equal to 19 hours therefore the minimum total elapsed time is 19 hours for both the jobs to be processed under these five machines so therefore we have taken and written the answer here minimum total elapsed time is 19 hours idle time for job 1 is 6 hours and this is 4 hours which we have obtained from the graph okay so i hope you would have understood this problem thank you